I live in a two-bedroom flat in London with my best friend. It's an expensive place to live, but I'm very happy here. London is the capital of England and the UK. It's a huge city with a long history and many famous tourist attractions. Millions of tourists visit London every year. People also come here to work and study. When tourists visit, the first thing they want to see is usually Big Ben, the famous clock tower near the Houses of Parliament. Then they go to Buckingham Palace, the home of the King or Queen of the United Kingdom. The River Thames goes through the centre of the city. Next to the river, you can see famous places like Tower Bridge, the Tate Modern, and the London Eye. London has some of the best galleries and museums in the world. My favourite places to visit are the British Museum and the Tate Modern Gallery. They are both free to enter. If you like shopping, London is the perfect city for you. On Bond Street, there are shops that sell expensive luxury products, and in Camden Town and Notting Hill, there are colourful markets. You can find all the famous high street brands on Oxford Street. The nightlife in London is excellent. In the West End, there are lots of theatres and cinemas. There are often concerts and festivals in the city as well. London is a good place to live if you like eating food from different countries. You can have fish and chips today, curry tomorrow, and Chinese food the day after. There are also hundreds of nice pubs around the city where you can get something good to eat and drink. I think the public transport in London is very good, especially the Tube. The Tube is the nickname for London's underground train system. I get the Tube to work each day, and I travel home by bus. Living in London is great, but at the weekends I sometimes go to the countryside for a break. I'm lucky to live in an area of the city that has everything I need. Shops, a supermarket, a gym, and a pharmacy. There is a tube station just five minutes from my flat. I live in Oxford, a beautiful city in the south of England. I have two housemates. We live in a nice house with a small garden. The area we live in is quiet and safe, and we have everything we need here. A supermarket, a post office, a bus stop, and two parks. Oxford is famous for its university, which is over 900 years old. Its graduates include 30 UK Prime Ministers and over 70 Nobel Prize winners. When you walk through the city, you can see many of the university colleges. They are very beautiful. There are 39 different Oxford colleges, but there is no main campus or central university building. Each college has a dining room, a library, and rooms for students to live in. Some colleges have parks too. Many tourists like to visit Christchurch College because its great hall was the model for the dining hall at Hogwarts in the Harry Potter films. But don't think the university is the only thing to see in Oxford. The city also has many museums, art galleries, and theatres. My favourite museum is the Ashmolean because it has a wonderful collection of old paintings.
Oxford has many parks, cafes, restaurants, and pubs, so there is always something to do and somewhere to go. If you prefer to relax, you can go for a walk beside the river. I think everyone should visit Oxford. You can arrive here easily by car, train, or bus. When my friends come to visit, they always want to stay for longer. There are so many interesting places to explore and beautiful buildings to see. Oxford has everything art, culture, and history all in one city. Welcome to the city that never sleeps, the Big Apple. These are two nicknames of the city I live in and love, New York. It's a special city that many people around the world know from TV and movies. I think it's a great place to live because there are many things to do and see here. I live in Brooklyn, which is one of New York's five boroughs. The neighborhood I live in is very lively. On our street, there are lots of coffee shops, bars, and restaurants, so it's noisy here on the weekend. We also have a library, a gym with a swimming pool, and a cinema in the area. There is a bus stop opposite our apartment, but the nearest subway station is about five minutes away. New York is the biggest city in the U.S. Some people call it the capital city of the world because it is so important for finance, entertainment, technology, art, and politics. In fact, the United Nations is based here. It is probably the most multicultural city in the world. When you walk through the streets of New York, you hear many, many different languages. The five boroughs of New York are very different. The Bronx is home to the Yankee Baseball Stadium and a famous zoo. In Queens, the biggest borough, there are two airports. Staten Island is the quietest borough and a good place to go for a short break. Brooklyn is where a lot of young people and artists choose to live. Finally, there is Manhattan, which is connected to Brooklyn by Brooklyn Bridge. When people think of New York, they often imagine Central Park, Times Square, Broadway, Fifth Avenue, Wall Street, or the Empire State Building. These are all in Manhattan, so it's the borough that every tourist wants to see first. You can catch a ferry from Manhattan to Liberty Island if you want to visit the world's most famous statue. Manhattan is an incredible place, so I understand why most tourists spend all their time there. But there's also a lot to see in the city's other boroughs, so don't go home without visiting the Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, and Staten Island too. I live with my husband and children in a small but cozy house in San Francisco. The area we live in is a great place for families because it's calm and safe, and there are several parks nearby where children can play. We have almost everything we need here, shops, restaurants, and good schools. The one thing we are missing is a cinema. When we want to watch a movie, we have to travel about 10 miles. But I don't want to complain. We feel very lucky to live here, of course. San Francisco is the city where the ocean meets the hills. It's smaller than New York and Los Angeles, of course, but it's special in its own way. And there is so much to do and see here. The city combines old and new in a unique way, 
It has a rich and interesting history, but at the same time, it has an exciting future. Today, the city is famous for technology. Big companies like Google, Apple, and Facebook have offices nearby, and there are lots of smaller companies and startups doing well here too. If you're a tourist visiting the city, the good news is that you can see downtown San Francisco on foot. It's not very big. But even if you like walking, you should still get a ticket for the famous San Francisco cable car. Riding a cable car is a great way to discover the different neighborhoods of the city and see some of its most interesting buildings. Not too far from downtown is the famous Fisherman's Wharf. People like to come here to eat fresh seafood and watch the street performers. There's always a lively atmosphere. At Fisherman's Wharf, they serve a special kind of soup called clam chowder. You eat it from bowls made of bread. While you eat, you can relax and watch the boats sailing in the bay. From here, you can also see Alcatraz Island. You have probably heard of it. A long time ago, there was a prison for very dangerous criminals on the island. People used to call it The Rock. Today, it's a museum. The most famous attraction in San Francisco is in the northern part of the city. New York has the Statue of Liberty, while we have the Golden Gate Bridge. In my opinion, it's the most beautiful bridge in the world and something that everyone should see at least once in their lives. I live in Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland, and the only place in Britain where you can see a palace, a castle, and three volcanoes. Some people call it the Athens of the North because it's a city with a lot of culture and beautiful architecture. The city has two main parts, the old town where you can find the famous castle and most of the important tourist attractions and the new town, which is also beautiful and is a better place to go shopping. I live in a one-bedroom flat in the new town. I can walk to the center of the city and the main train station in about 20 minutes. I like the area I live in, but I would prefer to live in the old town because most of my friends are there. I would also be closer to my university and my favorite pubs in the city. I hope I can move to the old town next year. The most important street in Edinburgh is the Royal Mile. This connects the castle to Holyrood Palace, where the British King stays when he is in Scotland. If you only have time to see one place while you're here, it has to be the Royal Mile. But if you have more time to explore, I recommend visiting the Writers' Museum. Not many people know about it, but it's fascinating and free to enter. In 2004, UNESCO gave Edinburgh the title City of Literature. Some famous writers who were born here include Robert Louis Stevenson, Sir Walter Scott, and Sir Arthur Conan Doyle the creator of Sherlock Holmes. J.K. Rowling also wrote some of the Harry Potter books here. The castle and the narrow and mysterious streets in the old town probably gave her some inspiration for her magical world. We also know that she visited Greyfriars Graveyard while she lived in the city. In the graveyard, there is a gravestone with the name Thomas Riddle, on it. Is this where Harry Potter's great enemy got his real name? Edinburgh is a very popular destination for tourists. People visit the city in every season, 
but the busiest times are during the festivals in August and December. The Edinburgh Festival Fringe takes place each year in August. The Fringe is the biggest performing arts festival in the world. It's open to anyone who wants to perform. Comedians, singers, dancers, magicians, actors. The festival lasts three to four weeks and there are thousands of shows to watch. In the winter, Edinburgh celebrates Hogmanay, which is the Scottish word for New Year's Eve. The city has a big street party on Prince's Street to say goodbye to the old year and welcome the new one. There are concerts, fireworks and, of course, lots of eating and drinking. It's a magical time to be in the city.